Hey yo, what's really good people? Welcome back to this back at our How you doing? How you been? I hope everything is good with you. I got this Infinity 2020 QX50. I'm gonna show you how to do the front brakes real quick. I don't know if I should put the uh, real brakes with this video. If I don't do it, then uh, you gotta look look up for uh, how to do the real brakes in this 2020. Uh, the generation is the second generation. From 2019 to nowadays, which would be like from 2019 to 2023, second generation. So like I was saying, I want to do the front, the front brakes and the rear brakes. If you don't see a rear brakes with this video, look up for the other video, how to do the rear brakes in the, you know, from 2019 to 2023, QX50 Infinity. Being that said, shout outs to everybody in the building. Welcome back. People thought I was dead. I still wasn't dead. I'm gonna wrap. I was about to wrap. Wrapping it up. Shout out to everybody in the building from Japan, Taiwan, Philippines, Italy, the States, Canada, Greenland, UK, Venezuela, Brazil, Peru, Argentina, you know, Paraguay, Uruguay, Spain, French, Croatia, Asia, the whole continent, I'm saying Africa, India, everybody in the building. Now. If you haven't subscribed, what you're waiting for, subscribe now. Don't forget to like the video. If you want me to reach more people, share this video anything you want to say put in the comment box the tools that i'm going to use you're going to find it down here it says view products click on that you're going to see a list of all the items i'm using on the other hand you want to support the channel over here there's a heart it says super thanks click on that do your part support the channel show your love contribute all of that i would appreciate it just to put it up here uh, all the contribution you do you know go towards better equipment and back to the community too. That's cool. We don't. That is how this baby look like. You know what I'm saying? You see, you see vibes, special shams and all that. It's gonna be 14. This is 22, I think. This one right here. Okay. This one. Not this one. This one. Okay. That's a bracket that I hold the uh, caliber. All right. Okay, more or less. You see why we're replacing the pads? They're low. Okay. They're screaming. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Let's get us to yeah. Alright, for this guy it's gonna be 14, huh? Yeah. Right, this one we get at the bottom too. 14. Okay, Gucci. You know, remove this, the caliper. You see how it looks like, All right? You know, it vibes. I'm gonna put it right there. I'm gonna push it right now. But before that, let me show you how uh, the brake pads. You know what I'm saying? Thumbnail. You see it, right? Yeah, pretty much. We're going to reuse these uh, plates, okay? I'll show you in a minute, though. Let me put it away. Let me remove this other brake pad. Just so you see how it is, why I'm replacing it, because it's about time. This thing is gonna, is it, this clip is the thing that I'm gonna tell you, uh, you know, it's time to replace the brake pads because this tip right here, holes, it's gonna start scratching the road against the rotor. You're gonna hear that sound, you hear that? Ugh. I'm gonna take this off because I'm gonna. Use this pad to remove the, uh, to push back the piston, okay. Uh, now, bring back the piston, put the pad over here, like that. Grab your piston pusher. 
yeah remember all the tools that i'm using here in this video i'm gonna put i'm gonna put it right below the video all right right what it says uh, view product click on that you will see it you see all the tools that i'm using i'm gonna put a rag a, a brake cleaner a metal brush tools that are unique for this job you know what i'm saying okay so pay attention to that i'm turning it clockwise okay Pushing the piston back, you see. Pushing it all the way to the back. All right. Now turn the brake tool counterclockwise to remove it. Just like that. Remove this, like so. Okay, now we're good with this. Uh, if you want to go, uh, be through with it might as well I'm saying press on break key there I'm saying do you think now we're gonna remove the uh, the bracket for the uh, for the caliper 22 millimeter okay counterclockwise same at the bottom. All right. This the other guy. Comes with a washer, okay? Pay attention to that. Now here's a bracket. I'm going to brush it because I'm going to reuse it, okay? I got original brake pads. All right. This is how it looks like. Big dog. Press on brake cleaner here. And the chimps. The other side too. Alright. I want to clean it. Okay, that's better, right? Do the same on the other side. Okay. Pretty much it. Okay. Good job. Make sure this things go in and out. Okay. That means it's good. If it doesn't, remove it. You know what I'm saying just like this. Wipe it. Clean it with a rag. And then uh, use some uh, brake lubricant. Okay. Huh? Speaking of uh, brake lubricant, I'm going to use the uh, Ray Bestos. You can use any brand, but it has to be silicone brake lubricant, okay? Right. Before I mount it, I put the, uh, the lubricant, you know what I'm saying? Because I don't want to, like, touch the rotor with this. You know what I'm saying? That would, that would defeat the purpose, you know what I'm saying? Like this. Uh, just like that. Now we're going to remove the rotor, get your hammer, just like that. I think uh, the hammer that I just used is a four pound, made by Hort, H-U-R-T. Uh, I think I got it from uh, uh, Walmart. It was a good price for a, kind of look like a tactical hammer, because the handle is uh, rubberized, it's rubber, you see? That's a brand. Right. This is 
four pounds. Uh, for this, just spray some brake clean and I'm saying as a backing plate. Okay. Brush it a little since she's down here. I'm gonna put this tool in the uh, Bill product section right below this uh, video. Okay. You might see some other stuff like uh, uh, sodas, snacks, uh, domestic uh, beer, things like that. I'm saying, just in case, I'm saying, you go with it. Just be responsible with the. Uh, Alcoholic drinks. Good with that. Let's put some more. Gucci. Mount the new rotor. This is the new rotor. I'll give you the part number in a minute. We'll mount this. we Gucci with that now. Now let me tell you this though. This baby, when you put the brake pads, uh, when you mount the brake pads, and uh, this thing is gonna like push them. Okay, this is like you probably seen it in Toyota's Hondas. It has like some type of a, a clip like this, but it goes like on the pad here and here. It has two holes. The brake pad has two holes, two holes here, two holes here. You put the clip in there. Those are for uh, to uh, retract or push outward the brake pad, you know what I'm saying, so it doesn't stick to the rotor. Okay, the same function is with this. Okay. It's different and more expensive, I guess. Okay. So I'm gonna use the same plates for the brake pads. Okay. Just go like that. Okay. Brush it if you want, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's all good. It's all good. Uh, that's one. Uh, this is for the other one, the one that I got inside. Okay. I'm gonna reuse this. Put in the new one. Brush it if you want. I'm gonna mount this guy, right? And the brake pad is gonna go. You see this clip? I'm gonna put it like right there. Like that. The same on the bottom, okay? Just like that, all right? Now those clips are right behind the, the pad. Okay, those are the things that are gonna push out the brake pad. Okay, that's how you're gonna do in the front, in the back, okay? That's how you mount it. Now here, where everything's beautiful, you just mount the, uh, the bracket back, grab your 22 bolt. Let me see, cause I don't see under the sea, under the sea. Yeah. I'm tripping. If you feel like the rotor is bugging you too much, put the uh, the logger nut. No. Okay. Now we tie this with the twenty-two.
and mount the pegs like what I told you. Easy, right? Easy does it. Same in the back. Very good. Might as well put some lubricant in the back of the plates of the pads, spray pads. Just like that, pop. Grab your caliper. Boom. Grab the 14 millimeter bolts. Do your thing. It's one. It's two. Fourteen millimeter. Careful with the electric guns, though. It might seem like they weak though, but they're not. You don't want to break that. Tied it by hand. Me, I know how strong it is, so that's why I'm using it. Clockwise. To tie it. Pretty much. Good On this, I'm gonna give you the parts number. All right, stay tuned. Back like that, with Gucci. Back in the game. All right, all right, parts number for the brake pads. There you go, that's a part number. This is straight from the dealership, okay? You see the valves, part number right there. This one where it says D1060, right? 5NA08. But uh, if you want to get it for yourself, uh, call the dealership. The dealership is going to ask you for your bin number, okay? The car bin number. And uh, they go from there. They're going to give you the, r the right part for your car, okay? Pretty much that's for the brake pads let me give you the part number for the uh, rotor or you can also uh, find a uh, uh, better or lower quality it's up to you uh, how much uh, you know depending on your wallet you know what i'm saying on your budget uh, this is the rotor that's it, uh, the the name pro at oem that's a part number, AK22160. It's the same part number for uh, both uh, front rotors. Okay. Okay. Carbon. Syncoid high carbon. All right. There you go. You're welcome. Yeah. All right. All right. Hope you like this video. Hope you enjoy um, how to do the front brakes in this uh, 2020 Infinity QX50. Um, if you have a car between uh, 2019 and 2020 Infinity QX50, then uh, this will be this for you. All right, you know where to find it. Uh, how to do the rear brakes? The rear brakes are EPV, so I'm gonna need a scanner. You also can do it without a scanner, though. I have a video for that. All right, so look it up in my channel. I did it with a Mazda, with a BMW, maybe with a uh, Hyundai too. Okay, so uh, if you want to know how to do the real brakes here, it's, it's the same thing. 
right? So uh, look out for that video. Shout out to everybody in the building. Thank you for watching. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the support. The support go towards uh, better equipment, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I appreciate that. Better for you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, better quality, you know what I'm saying? I've been giving you better quality, you know what I'm saying? Uh, other than that, um, oh, the tools that I'm using, like I said before, you see it right here where it says view product. You see a bunch of uh, a list of 30 products that I'm using in this video. I'm not using the beer though, okay? It's too early, too early, too early. You see beer, snacks, uh, tools like the brake tool, uh, brake lubricant, uh, brake spray, brake cleaner, hand, hand cleaner, rag, uh, impact guns, new ratchet, socket set stuff like that you know what i'm saying so you uh you prepare most of these items come from uh, uh lowe's home depot target stuff like that you know what i'm saying it's, the store is nearby close to you so you can pick it up or get it delivered to uh deliver to your house pretty much yeah i hope you like this video you know where to find me i want to do the real breaks in a different video stay tuned look for that video thank you for watching shout outs to everybody uh, japan thailand thailand you know, UK, Peru, Brazil, Argentina, Uruguay, Paraguay, Chile, Colombia, Venezuela, you know, Ghana, India. Did I say Philippines? All right, I think I did. All right, guys, I'm going to live right here. Thank you for watching. You know, if I don't mention your country, you know, you, you hear, you know what I'm saying? No, my heart is over here. You know I'm saying? All right, you know what I'm saying? Right. Thank you for the uh, contribution. Thank you for the help. Thank you for the support. You know where to find me. That's cool. Clacking now. Yeah, that's true. Hi.